I know some people really are into like eye naps. I usually don't do eye naps. Good morning. I am Mubarak. It is like 7.50. Let's get ready. I was supposed to get up at 7 today and I actually got up at 6.45 uh, because my cat was at my door. Mom was making phone calls all morning to our family and just like the relatives so like you know those tiktoks you see it like any morning when like parents are arguing mama's making calls back home and rumors are true any mornings are like no others my family hasn't argued yet it totally stays that way <laughs> you guys have any like i eat morning traditions like my family and i always eat breakfast together and it won't be like an actual breakfast whether it's because like we're still full from food the night before or if he's illegal to eating during the day so we have either coffee or shea and like we'll have coffee or tea and i eat cookies like back. my favorite is biscuit ganesha i did which i don't know how to explain that in english but they're amazing and those are my favorite like i eat cookie type ever and oras which is like uh i think the more common term is mamul the with the date based that's amazing we finished breakfast um, and now I'm getting ready. We're gonna leave here in like 35 40 minutes. I need my face to dry faster. I'm really, really excited about the eight outfit today. Yo, this dress is so pretty. I feel so pretty in it, and that's not like a brag, but you know, like when a dress makes you feel good. Low key, but like a book club color is like the, the beige and like that purple that we use. Slay. So I recently started using this. This is. This is like a popular sunscreen in Korea. It's like the Round Lab Birchwood Korea uh, <coughs> Birchwood sunscreen. Um, I have really oily skin, and every other sunscreen I've tried has kept me oily. So this one has it. I've been using it for about two weeks, two weeks now, and I've had not had any issues. So if you're oily, I've not noticed a white cast, but I'm also on the paler side, so I won't speak to that. But in terms of oiliness, this works. <laughs> a bunch of steps but hijab is on time for shoes on i'm so excited okay we're home i completely forgot to record like all of the bizarre and like the fun games things so but i did buy something so let me show you what i bought hi let me show y'all what i bought from so i found this like little table and i don't know the name of the store it's called muslim memories there are a lot of cute things and there's like raffle going so i went and got some things it's like tag it or link it link it it's a like local shop and i got this like quranic versus islamic calendar so it's like one of those desk calendars you get so we can open it and look at it Yo, I'm terrible at opening things. I think I'd be better with the amount of packages I got. They do have a store online, so you can order online. This actually, I think this was like $16, $17, which I think is such a good price. So it's like a Quranic versus calendar. So you open it, and so like for every day, there's a Quranic verse. And I really like this, it's not like your specific or anything. And I think I'm, this thing is tilted. So I can use it year after year. And I just love the aesthetic, and I think it's so cute. And look it like a little sits out how cute is that i did get one other thing from them um i got a keychain because these keychains are so cute this was like 12 i think so it says work hard pray harder this came in four different colors it came in this is beige came in pink dark blue and light blue and then for a close-up of the quranic verses kind of just what it entails beautiful and then this is the name of the shop. What's the memories? It was on the back. And yeah, it was a great time at the garden center. It was so nice to like finally have a Eid feel like Eid. Last year did not feel like Eid for so many reasons. Um, for those who follow me know like I had uh, a sick cat last year who uh, fortunately passed away and so I was busy with all of that and I didn't get to go to Eid prayer. Um, so this year it was great to finally like almost like redeem it, like have Eid feel like Eid. 
it was a great time we're gonna go get changed and do like our traditional iced coffee run and some target shopping because i have not been in forever all right this is the second fit just like a casual day dress um we are just going to target and starbucks but yeah some variety you do want to wear your best clothes and it'll be a fun time so let's go <laughs> Okay, so we got the Starbucks. I got my regular iced coffee with cream. It's different. You guys want to show me what you got? And my sister ice. got a thing with the cream and cinnamon. My brother got a pineapple refresher. Okay, we are back from Target. Let me show y'all what I got. Um, I feel like I did not film enough in store and it's because I am like so awkward filming in store. But I'm here, so let me show you what I got. First thing, I always love checking out Target's like dollar section that's on the side when you walk in. So they have these like cute totes for like $3. This so is mom, so I got one for my mom. Um, they have like another one that was like a cute like uh, like a pink one with the flowers on it without any words so there's like a non-mod one if you want and then I saw these and how cute is this type of thing they had a few designs of these I think this is really cute I'm gonna put this up in my room somewhere they also had just like a plain one with white flowers like nothing in the middle and then they had another one I think with red flowers that said like welcome hi so cute I love cute stuff I did go to Target to get things so like I got a refill of like my body scrub um some hair things I got a new eyebrow brush because I don't know where mine went refill of my pimple patches and then I have heard about this like for blemishes like post acne so like after using pimple patches you just get rid of like the scarring so we're gonna try it this was $20 so which is a little pricier than I'm usually spent on hero cosmetics but we're gonna try it and see that's my target haul I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to get beach read because I've read it before and I liked it and I love Emily Henry's books. But uh, we're going on a beach day tomorrow. I thought it'd be so cute to like get it for pictures. Um, and I like, I also love to have it on my book show. But they were out. So I am think I'm gonna take like people meet on vacation or something. Or another book that fits beachy vibes. Percy Jackson, maybe? I don't know what other books uh, fit the beach vibe. But that's where we're at. Okay, coming to you a few days later. Funny story. I was Friday. On Monday, I was like putting together a post for my Instagram and I noticed in the post, I had the book Beach Reads in the picture and I was like, wait, turns out I own Beach Read and I just wasn't aware that I owned Beach Read. Like I just forgot that I owned it because it sits on that shelf behind the books at the front. So I guess maybe I didn't see it often enough. Um, I own the book. I ended up not realizing this till Monday, so I didn't take it to the beach, but I felt pretty stupid afterwards. So I do, do own Beach Read, I just forgot I own Beach Read. Good thing I didn't buy it. We have a couple hours till dinner, so I think I'm just gonna like chill. Um, I know some people really are into like eye naps. I usually don't do eye nap because I have like the second cup of coffee in the day, but um, we'll see, I'll probably just hang out, read, maybe edit some pictures and videos. I do have another YouTube video I need to edit, so see you guys at dinner. Okay, friends, we are heading to dinner. This is the dress. Um, I think we're going to K barbecue. So it should be a fun time. I took the chance for the past couple hours to finish my coffee, answer some emails, publish a giveaway that's on my Instagram right now live for some Muslim books. So go check that out and let's head to dinner. So we ended up trying a new K barbecue hot pot place. This is my first time having hot pot. Um, I thought it was great. It was a lot of fun and I'll definitely do it again. Three days later. I was so tired after I that I basically forgot to film an outro. So this is the outro. And I hope everyone's idea was also great. Let me know how it was in the comments below. This was my first time doing some type of vlog. Um, so it was a bit, <laughs> a bit of a different type of content for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think uh, there are things I could have done better, things I could have done differently. I think with YouTube, everything's just going to be like a learning curve, which is fine because we learn, we grow and we learn. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.